Part 10, setting Jenkins up to install the application under test. So for our course and our demo, we're going to use an open source application called Rocket Chat. It's an online chat application. It's worth mentioning at this point that this is just an example app we're using for this course. We'll go through the steps to build and install this app, but you don't need to understand the scripts needed for that build and install. These are specific to Rocket Chat. In practice, when you're testing your own applications, you'll need to replace Rocket Chat with your application, and that means your own build and install scripts. So you'll have to talk to your developers, your build engineers, and work out how your specific application is built and installed. So Jenkins is all about configuring and running jobs. And those jobs are typically build jobs, but they can include anything. For example, jobs to run tests, jobs to install applications, anything you need to automate, Jenkins can be configured to run as a job. So to configure those jobs, pretty obvious, create new job. There are four options here. We're always gonna stick with the freestyle project. And once we've selected that, we need to give that project a name. The name we'll give this is build rocket chat on node. And once you've confirmed that, we're then into defining all of the details for this particular build project or job. So before we configure all of these properties and settings for this particular job, we need to define where this job is going to be run. Now, Jenkins can get pretty clever about how it decides automatically where to deploy jobs, which servers, which slaves, etc. But what we want to do is force this job to always run on the Amazon machine instance that we've created or defined already. And the way we do that is with the use of labels. When we configured our rocket chat server node or slave, if you remember, we defined a, a label. And it's this label that we can then define in the job details that then says run this job on this machine that has the RC build deploy server label. So if we copy that label, come back to our, our job that we were just setting the details for, so one of the options we have on here is to restrict where this project can be run. And if we check that, we have a label field that pops up and we can define in there our RC build deploy server. So that will force this job to run on that server. A couple of other things we need to define on here. Most of these we can take as the defaults, but you will want to define things like the build triggers. So this is what dictates when this job will run. So we're going to say build periodically. Now you can define a schedule in here. And if you click on the, the question mark, it'll give you details about how you define those schedules. But for us, we're just going to make sure we've selected that with no schedule information defined. So it will always expect us to manually kick off this job. So next we need to click on the add build step. So this is the action that this job will carry out. And we'll select execute shell. So we want to run a script on our Linux slave machine. Now it's this execute shell script that is going to be specific to how we build our application under test. Now I'm just going to copy and paste in the script here for rocket chat so this will build our rocket chat application and again you'll need to come up with your own scripts for your own application but you can use this script from our training course notes just a quick few points about what's going on here we're going to clean up any leftovers from the last build if we need to so it just checks for a few files and directories and deletes those if it finds them then we're going to install any packages we need dependency packages that we need to help build the application. So there's a few packages here, install and unzip, and another package called Meteor, which we'll need for our build. This application comes with a database, but we'll need to configure that and get that set up. So this defines a directory where the database will be installed, and then we run all the commands that will do the build and the install of the application. 
and the final set of steps here actually starts the database and the application on the system and then prints out a few log details just to help us if we run into problems. And that's it. If we save that job, go back to our Jenkins page, we now have a job defined on our home page. The job's never run before, so there's no status information there. Um, the weather, which we'll come on to in a minute, is all sunny because we haven't had any failures. We had no successes, no failures, and no details about when it was last run. But what we do have is a button here that says we can build or run this job. So if we click on this icon, it will kick off a build or kick off this job on our Rocket Chat server, that Amazon machine instance that we had previously defined. So if you want to see the progress of this build and the install and the actions that are being carried out, you'll see that we're on build or we're on build one here and we have a drop down menu again and we can go to the console output and this will give us a list of everything that's being executed on our Amazon machine instance. And what you see here is the actual build process, so it's actually building the Rocket Chat server package and once that's complete we'll see the install and the startup of that application. So we can do a little check here, we can see that it's building it on this machine, so this is the host name for that machine and that should be the same as the instance that's running in our AWS cloud come back to here to our Unix, Linux, Ubuntu machine. We have the same public DNS or host name listed here. And it's that machine that our application under test should be running on once this is all completed. So if we click on the new tab, we should be able to put that host name in there and the application itself actually runs on port 3000. So when that build and install is completed, we should be able to access the application from this URL. Now it may take a few minutes for this application to run up, the build to complete and the install to complete, but we can keep coming back to our, our job and the log file and watching for the status on this. And we can see that the build's coming up with a few warnings, but pretty much all of those we can ignore at the moment. And when it's complete, we'll see the messages in the log file. When we come back and refresh this page, what we should see is our Rocket Chat application running. So next up we need to look at some post build actions and some smoke tests just to confirm that correct installation. And then finally we'll be in a position to start defining some schedules to make sure that this build, install and test runs automatically.